All right, so it's here. We've debuted it now. It's played twice, the brand new single from Rosewood Avenue, uh, I Won't. And joining me right now is Dave of Rosewood. And uh, Dave, uh, the single seems to be getting quite a lot of love so far. I got a couple. Actually, I should tell you, I got a text message this morning from somebody uh, and their exact wording. Let me pull this up because I want to get it right. Their exact wording was, wow, love Rosewood Ave's new song. Has some Lady A vibes to it. So, yeah, that's a pretty yeah. good comparison, I think. That's a great comparison. And actually, uh, when we recorded this song, uh, we recorded with some of the best musicians out in Nashville. And we tuned in to that uh, recording session. And the, uh, the keyboard player said the exact same thing. He said, wow, this, this has some Lady A vibes. Wow. Um, so, hey, we'll take that compliment. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So how did the writing process for this go? I know you've been, been down to Nashville a few times for some writing sessions. Is this one of the ones that came out of that? Um, so, no, we, we didn't write this one in particular, but when it was pitched to us, it basically tells our story uh, where, you know, it's, it's about a husband and wife that, you know, meet for the first time and share... Uh, a love of music and from there it's just you know they know that they were meant to be together and they know that uh you know there's going to be hard times and it's not going to be easy but you know they won't uh leave each other um so it's just it really resonated with us and you know, we're, we're like, we have to record this song. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. I mean, because you always wonder when songs like this come about from other writers, who else has heard this? Who else is wanting to do this? And the fact that you kind of got a chance to get on it, because maybe it went to Lady A and they passed it up and you got to benefit from it. Who, who knows? knows? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So that's awesome. So h- how did you feel? I mean, um, I mean, you've had, you know, parts and you've sang another song, but this is a, a little more prominent where you're kind of standing out a little bit longer um, of just you singing. Uh, how did that feel? Was it a little nerve-wracking to put to put you out there that much? It definitely was nerve-wracking and, and very challenging. Um, I've definitely come out of my shell in the last uh, year or two, uh, singing a lot more than I used to. Um, but, you know, if I'm going to be honest, when we first talked about recording these songs, uh, <laughs> I remember saying to our, our management and our label, you know, I'm just going to sit back and just, focus on harmonies and i'll let sabrina sing the whole song and they're like what are you talking about no you're gonna sing and you're gonna you know do a great job at it and so i'm really happy that i pushed myself and sabrina uh, has been great at uh you know getting me to tap into uh some uh some parts of of uh, my talent that i haven't yet uh explored so um yeah i'm really happy with it it was uh feels great to, to, you know, to hear the end result and, and people reacting to it. Well, I think I think what is a, a, a big benefit to you doing a little more singing, too, is it gives you so many more options, right? You can trade off parts. You can do more duetting yeah. type stuff without having to find somebody else. Hey, you could do a full song yourself, and it would have a whole different vibe, but it would still be Rosewood, right? Like, I think it opens up a lot more paths for you. Yeah, definitely. Um, it definitely does open more options. and I mean, I'm not... Uh, great with lyrics that's one area that uh takes a little bit more brain power so we'll probably let sabrina do most of the singing but yeah who knows there there's probably going to be a lot more duets in the future that's awesome so uh we'll we'll wrap this up real quick it was a play a fantastic playing this song um of course it goes streaming pretty much everywhere tomorrow friday uh september 8th and you guys are going to be at the iroquois falls home opener for the storm tomorrow night uh as well singing at the beginning of the game there and then you've got your uh kind of i guess single release party if you will at the y after the game right yes exactly and so um t- you have to get tickets for the release party i'm guessing and they're on uh eventbrite yeah, you can find them uh, if you go to our page. Uh, we've shared the link uh, quite a few times it's on our website as well. Perfect. Well, uh, congratulations. Uh, I mean, this song will, starting tomorrow, go back, go into rotation for us, you know, for you, as long as long, along with your other songs that we've got uh, here as well. And, and I hope some other stations start playing it too. We hope the same thing, and uh, we're so happy with the response we've been getting. So, uh, yeah, thank you so much, uh, uh, to you, Shane, and Country 93.1 for uh, playing our new song, I Won't.